uh, there was a house meeting we I did probably about four or five months ago at Cedar Hill, and I was ministering corporately. And I was like, if you just want the wild, I talked about how there were two kinds of the prophetic word that came forward. There's two kinds of lions in the world. There are tame lions and wild lions. And that's how the Holy Spirit is. And the church has tamed the Holy Spirit and taught the Holy Spirit, like, this is what you're supposed to look like. But God wants to release the wild of the Holy Spirit in this room. And I said, if you want the wild of the Holy Spirit, raise your hands up in the air. You know, I'm just like going with whatever the Lord's telling me to say. But everybody starts raising up their hair, blah, 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 blah. You know, and people are, some people are speaking in tongues, some people are not. And I look over to my right and there was a young girl. She must, I don't think she was older than nine or 10 years old either. And she's just getting jacked. I mean, she's standing, her whole body is shaking. You can see her lips are starting to shift. And so I start prophesying to her from across the room, like that I can't remember what I was going to say, what I was saying, but again, it's on my social media, it's on my YouTube. And so mom's in the bathroom. So there's like three kids are all like in school uniforms and she's clearly the oldest. So all these other kids are younger. The little kids are like staring like, oh my God, what's happening to our sister, yada, yada. Mom comes out of the bathroom. And so I finally wait till there's some kind of a adult supervisor. And I'm like, mom, can I minister to your daughter? And she's like, yes, absolutely. So I go over and I just start ministering to her and she just, I mean, boom, hit her chair, but just immediately started speaking in tongues. But nobody really touched her when the Holy Spirit started that. I just kind of jumped into what God was already doing. Um, but man, it's, it's amazing. We could do a whole episode on ministry to kids. It's amazing watching kids receive. I love that. And mm-hmm. I, and I think that, you know, to talk about the point where I was talking about earlier about people mimicking it and like faking it, mm-hmm. I, I don't feel like a small child can no. do that. Mm-hmm. Like, Well, especially if they've never been exposed to it. Yeah. You know what I mean? You know? Yeah. It's like, it's, it's almost like that's your, I, I feel like that can be your, your mm-hmm. proof right there and your evidence right there. Yes. I mean, we're, I was talking to Mr. Allard, I was on his podcast earlier today and I was talking about how a lot of times people want to show numbers to present evidence or proof. But for me, proof is in people. And that's what Paul says. He says, my letter of recommendation doesn't come to you written on a tablet or comes written on the hearts of people. (laughs) Paul's a real one. I love Paul. Paul is good and he's (laughs) snarky in all the right places. I know, right? That's why I I love him. (laughs) He is the king of run on sentences. That makes me a little crazy. But other than that, love me some Paul. Yeah, so, like, can you uh, use a comma? <laughs> <laughs> or a period. Let's just like, let's start over. This is like a bunch of fragmented statements. Anyways, I was going to say earlier, you ought to have a podcast with Turner and I on both at the same time. Him and I do a, have a good time interacting in the spirit. Okay. That's so you keep mentioning Turner it. and you mentioned yeah. at one point my son. So I'm going to make that connection. Turner is my son. Yes. He's my oldest son. So he's he's phenom- phenomenally powerful in the spirit. Yeah. Well, I would love to. Uh, we're, we're trying to get something in the books for July, him and mm-hmm. I. So uh, we, we, he's busy as all yeah. get out in yeah, June. Yeah, he's running our company. <laughs> yeah. He's running a company, doing still doing uh, VBS and all that. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, he's definitely coming on the show soon. Mm. Mm-hmm. And, um, he's actually, um, we actually, um, let's see, don't want to go this direction right now. No, let's, let's wait on that. So let's him and I that. did a, um, we did a series on worship on my YouTube. So I don't know if you've seen that or not, but him really? and I have a, there's a playlist on worship and there's a picture of him and I standing back to back. And it's, I think it's wow. like four episodes of him and I doing on worship. That's super cool. I have to check that out. And then he's out. on, what, so I have a whole playlist on discipleship as well. And he's on the episode that talks about discipling youth. So him and I talk about how to raise up teenagers in in today's culture. Wow, I love that. Yeah, we'll definitely have to have um, both y'all on at the same time. Mm-hmm. That would be that'd be super fun for me. It uh, would be very fun. Thank you so much for supporting our YouTube channel. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe and smash that like button. If you would like to see another short clip from this episode, you can do so here. Or if you want to see the full conversation, you can do so here. And make sure you subscribe on Patreon if you'd like to partner with us. You can do that at the link in the description of this video. Thank you so much, and we'll see you on the next one. Cheers. Thank you.